morning, morning Grizzlies. Grizzlies! I'm Steve Pineda. And I'm Mary Cruz Rea. And these are your morning announcements. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. Begin. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America, of America and, and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's weather is sunny with a high of 82, and for this weekend, we're going to see temps in the mid-70s all weekend. Seniors interested in earning the seal of biliteracy should consider taking the SAT2 in Spanish or French. December 1st, they are easier to pass than the district test. Hurry, the deadline is November 20th for online and phone registration. Sophomores and juniors, want to go to Washington, D.C. for free and learn how our government works? The R2L summer program is a free, free, one-week program that gives you leadership skills while visiting cool historical sites. Go to the Higher Ed Center for more details. Mary Cruz? Yes, Steve? The rest of the announcements are really long. Want to shorten them? Each announcement, 10 seconds or less, go. Seniors, pick up your shirts. If you ordered a shirt, pick it up today in the ASB room before Tana gives them away to teachers as Christmas gifts. He will give them away. No ACT prep class this Saturday. Check your email for further notice. Boys tennis. Interested in playing tennis? See Coach Cortez in room 1126. No experience needed. First period of classes, donate to the can drive. The class that wins gets front of the line lunch passes. Ooh, lunch passes. All football players, give your banquet payment to Coach Watts today. Don't be a turkey, buy a yearbook at justinsyearbook.com. Macy meeting this Tuesday at 3 to 5 p.m. in room 2111. And here are the election results in case you have been living under a rock. Gavin Newsom won for governor. Miguel Polito won his 12th term for mayor. For city council, David Penaloza, Roman Reyna, and Cecilia Iglesias. And finally, for school board, Valeria Amesco and John Palacio. And that's it for today. Enjoy a three-day weekend and stay tuned for some helpful tips for our Grizzlies. Bye, Bye Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Have a great weekend. <laughs> How long have you had your Chromebook? I've had it for four years. Um, do you let any other people borrow your Chromebook? Yeah, I let everybody use it. Why is that? Um, so, it's because I'm the nice person that lets everybody use the Chromebooks when they need it, and also when I don't want to do my work. How often do you charge your Chromebook? I charge it every day, sometimes. How long have you had your Chromebook? About two years. Do you charge your Chromebook every day? Yes. Do you let other people borrow your Chromebook? Yes. Why? Sometimes people don't have their Chromebooks, and so it's nice to help everyone once in a while. Here are some tips from our librarian on how to take care of your Chromebook. Charge your Chromebook every night and bring it to school every day. Students can borrow chargers from teachers or the library. When holding your Chromebook, never hold it from the top or by the screen. Holding it from the sides makes it more secure. All students were provided with a Chromebook case at the beginning of the year. Buy insurance, Grizzlies. It will cover for damages or loss. More information in the library. If your Chromebook got damaged, fill out a damage report online. Go to the Godinez website, click the library department, and open the damage report form. Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, we're gonna go over to the College Late Night. Oh, what's that? Here, we'll show you. Let's go. College Late Nights is a great opportunity for seniors to get hands-on help while applying for FAFSA and colleges. What are the benefits slash advantages for students attending late nights compared to students who do not attend? Well, you don't get the all-star treatment over here. You see all these counselors, you got teachers in here that are going to help you with your applications. Accurate information, that's what you can get from these events. If you end up submitting it on your own, you're more likely to make a mistake and then you end up pulling your hair out. We're here to help you guys. Um, all these people are giving their own time just to help you guys. So take advantage of these opportunities. Everybody should be submitting a college application, whether it's community college, um, UCs, Cal States, or private schools, and everybody applies for financial aid no matter what. 
okay? So we will be calling you out if you decide not to come in on your own. We just need to find out where you are with submitting these applications. Do you feel more confident with your college process? Of course, yeah, because uh, before I didn't have any anything done. They're also, they're also helping me with my personal statements and my EC questions, so I feel pretty confident. Uh, seniors, please do it. This is a month that we're all going to be, I don't want you guys to be procrastinating, and underclassmen too, like, you have to try on your PSATs and your SATs because it all matters. Just do your work. Teachers, parents, and counselors dedicate their Tuesday afternoons to assist students during this overwhelming process. If you look inside the computer lab, you get the one-on-one -on -one support. So if you have questions, specific questions about the college app or financial aid, the counselors can help you. And if you go in there, colleges have uh, specific questions they'll ask about like your parents' taxes and stuff like that, and so the counselors will be able to guide you through that. Study hard, study really hard, and finish strong. Think Godinas. Seniors, please attend college late nights. Take advantage of this opportunity.